John the Baptist said, he called, he called, he called, uh, thank you, God. He called the Pharisees. He said, you brood of vipers. Then Jesus said, you will be able to tread upon serpents. Right? And so therefore, Jesus is talking about serpents in the very beginning. John the Baptist is calling them brood of vipers. And what was said is like, watch this. There are two different types of serpents. Some that just bite and it just hurt. And the others that put poison in you. And poison, watch this, gets into your bloodstream. Poison gets into your bloodline. Oh, y'all missing this here. When your family has been bit by a poisonous viper, that's why your family generational curses can keep going year after year after year because there is something in the bloodline. So look at what happened. She opened her ears to spiritual poison. But watch this. This is what God revealed to me. He said, God said, the Garden of Eden, thank you, Holy Ghost, was more than about Adam and Eve being disobedient. He said, the Garden of Eden was also about submission, oh God, yes, and cooperation. I'm finna finna dig here. I'm finna dig. When you submit to something, you give over your authority. Y'all not hearing me here. You voluntarily give over your authority. When you submit, you're saying, listen, I know I could have authority in this situation, but I'm going to submit it over and let the one person in authority have this because I want to be in the perfect will. So when you submit, you give over your authority. Don't mean you don't have any, but you voluntarily gave it over. But when you cooperate, uh uh-oh, you're co-operating, which means you're not giving over your authority. You're just going to go along with Whoever's in charge. And until you don't like it, you take all authority back. Too many of us, we are not submissive to the church. We are cooperating. You don't want to submit to the authority of the pastor, so you're going to cooperate with what he said, which means you have opened yourself up to the very devil that I have to fight because you don't submit under. You want to walk with instead of under. You want to be able to to pull your family and everybody else whenever you feel like it. But you still want the blessings of being a submitted kingdom citizen. But when you're only cooperating as long as you feel better. So when you cooperate, that means we both in charge. And based off of How I feel, I'm going to go this way. See, see, that's that. that, See, we're going somewhere there. I don't need people in ministry, leaders cooperating with me. You need to be submitted because you're not submitting to me. That's where you get it screwed up at. Is you look at me and think that I'm just, y'all, if I had it my way, I would be the fifth member of Jodeci, and I'm going to be there when they come in, in August 27th, and I'm asking for a back. I would be right up there with them. You see me, right? Legs and all, I would be right there. But guess what I had to do? Thank you, God. I could not cooperate with God. I had to submit to God. Meaning I'm giving over my will. And I know somebody don't like what I just said. You'll be all right. But check it out. I had to submit. Meaning I know what I could do. Know what I wanted to do. Some of y'all know this story. Look at And the devil don't stop trying to get you 
to be unsubmissive. What was it about? Six years ago? You already know. Five, six years ago, I'm at the house. Some of y'all know this. My phone rings at about 11 o'clock at night. One of my good friends, Dave Hollister, Blackstreet, before I let go, I answered the phone. He said, bro, what's up? I said, oh, nothing. Chill it, family. He said, it's your time, bro. What you mean? I done already talked to Ted, Teddy Riley. We got an open spot in Black Street. If you want it, it's yours. We getting ready to go out on tour. We headed to Jamaica. We headed here. Got this Caribbean cruise. We got this. We got this. We got that. Just tell me what you want to do. I got witnesses here. My, my, I put, didn't I put on speakerphone? And I said, Everything I ever dreamed of, it ain't Jodeci, but it's their cousin. <laughs> and my boy, if you go back and look at old videos, Dave Hollister did all, a lot of the background. That's their cousins. I was like, I'd be right next to them. Haley, boy, I will be right there. And I said, bro, man, let me call you back. Let me call you back. Let me call you back. And I'm sitting up there like, Whoo. hi, Lord. I've been submitted to you. This is my chance. And I went and told my wife, like, girl, what would you think? And she's like, Oh, listen, it's Kennedy. That's Kennedy, ain't it? I know that cry, don't I? I said, I said, I said, listen. What do I need to do? And and and, and Lord says, hey, you can go. I'm gonna still be with you, but. What cost? Lord, that's a low blow. <laughs> this is my this is what I always wanted to do. I never called him back about that. And my wife said, I knew you weren't gonna do it. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm gonna prove you wrong. How you know I wasn't gonna do it? <laughs> Because what God thinks about you matters. Because the biggest thing God says, so your family will be all right because your wife knows what your dreams have been. He said, but what are you going to say about your church? How can you tell them to bypass on things that I didn't send them just because they wanted it? If you as their shepherd... <coughs> Don't you know that the enemy, oh, here it is, will give you exactly what you want if it means keeping you out of place? Y'all better talk to me, somebody. If it takes you getting a certain amount of money or getting a certain call for something, as long as it knocks you out of position, the devil got blessings to give. He tried to do it for Jesus, but you got this world doing this watered down stuff from the pulpit about live your best life now. God gave you the gift. Go out in the world and use it. If God didn't tell you to do that, you might want to sit still. So I didn't take that. Why? Because I'm not cooperating with God. <laughs> I'm submitted. To God. So the Garden of Eden is about what? Submission. And what else? Cooperation. Cooperation. Now watch this. I'm going to bring it home. I know I got a whole lot more written down there than that. I know, but it's all good. <laughs> Let me see where we at. Where we? Uh, no, I'm almost done. But this is when you know you are operating in your place of authority. When you're operating in your place of authority, Things are easy. <laughs> Things are simple. 
what it took somebody else to go to school to do. <laughs> you just do. But because we don't, like, like the whole Eve complex, he says, for God knows if you do this, not as if God done gave it to you already because it's already done. So she's still trying to work at being what God wants her to be when God just told her, just be what I told you to be. You're working for something that you already are. So, 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 so when you think about this thing, when, when, when you are created to do something and you don't realize it, it comes simple to you. I've never been to school to teach nothing. Never studied theology and all of this other kind of stuff. Never, ever, ever did I ever dream to stand before people and teach the word of God. Never. Went to school to be a counselor, went to school to be a psychologist, but I see where God has me positioned. Right. To where I have clinical psychiatrists that will come in my office to say, Pastor, what you think about this? And I have to remember that it ain't me talking. But, but, but let me tell you this, the longer you hang around some people that are educated. <laughs> Keep hanging around dumb folk if you want to. <laughs> keep, keep hanging around people that, that, that don't, if you're the smartest person in your crew, your crew ain't too smart. Okay. You need to get around some other people that know a little bit more than you. And they ain't always got to be people at the church because the Bible says the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. I'm not telling you to go voluntarily hang around wicked people, but there's some people in the world that got a whole lot of knowledge. That sometimes I just need to sit down just so I can listen. Why? I need to be able to hear in order to be able to speak what I just heard. And you wonder why we operate this ministry from a corporate aspect. <laughs> so, so I want you to watch this. Watch, watch, watch. Thank you, God. Miles Monroe said this, and I love it. He said, uh, when you're operating in who you are, you, 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 you just do things. And what you do is simple to you. See, I, I, this, this God just dropped this on me. Remember what I just said, but I'm going to show you this real quick. The, the first day, the first day, the first day, uh, 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 no, I ain't going to do it. Thank you, God, for pulling that back. I, I can't go there. can't do that. Don't tell me to do it. Lord said no. Not that it was bad. Wasn't bad at all. Wasn't bad at all. He said, ah, mm -mm. it's okay. Got you. Nah. Ain't going to ever be ready. I don't think. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Watch this. We were not created to fly. <laughs> we were not created to be able to swim all day underwater. Right? We were created to walk and run. So, so think about this. An airplane has to have people to look after it, people to fly it, people to go to school for it, people that know how to repair it, people to create parts for it. An airplane itself has to have everything, have to have millions and millions and millions of dollars and millions and millions of people in order for it to be able to stay up in the sky for a certain amount of time. But a bird. Y'all not hearing me here. A bird, a bird does what he does. Come on here. Naturally. Why? Because the bird has the authority to fly because that's the area he was created in. Y'all not hearing me here. And watch this. The same principle applies to a fish. A fish is in the water because he was created 
to swim. And watch this, Dedrick. This is real big. The more they do what they were created to do, the more energy they have. Oh, y'all missed the whole point. Birds get more energy the more they fly. Maybe the reason you drained is because you ain't doing. Because watch this. Anytime you are operating outside of your authority, you spend more money trying to look like you in authority. You spend more money trying to be something that you're not. You spend more money trying to wear all the name brand stuff because you want to be something that you're not because you're operating outside of your God-given authority. If God gave me my assignment, if God called me to my assignment, then God is responsible to take care of what he assigned me to do. Oh, but when you're running out of money, because you're trying to look like somebody else, you're trying to act like somebody else, you got to stop and ask yourself, is this my area of authority? Do I have authority in this area? Was I created for this spot that I'm in? So many people going off to school, going off to college, to learn to be something that they're not even called to be. The word of God says all things, watch this, work together for the good of them that love the Lord. Watch this, and that are called according to his purpose. So if you're walking down a lane trying to get authority in an area that God has not called you to, you will fail. Oh. He says, if you're walking according to what I called you to do, ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be open. But if you're doing it because that's what mom and them did, or that's what, 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 what's going to make you the biggest check. God ain't going to help you get away from him. If what you're doing is outside the will of God, but it feels good. Now, let's, let's hold up. It feels good to be outside the will of God. Uh-oh. Y'all don't want to talk to me right there. Mentally and Emotionally. It feels comfortable, but God ain't operating in your comfort. He said, no, no, I I told you to come out from among them and be ye happy. Be ye successful. (laughs) Be ye fine. Be ye attractive. No. Be holy. Why? Because I am holy. When you realize what you're looking for is already in you, then you'll stop being mad at other people so much. (laughs) Because they, watch this, hurt your moment. (sighs) That's good, God. What do you mean by that, Pastor? They hurt your feelings. And your feelings only last for a moment. If we ever stop making decisions based off of how we feel at this moment, if we ever stop breaking up because of what just happened at this moment, if we ever stop getting together because of how we feel in this moment, this moment will pass. This moment will pass. 
You got to stop and think. And for my destiny, where God has me, where God wants me, oh, my God, I just heard this. is might hurt your feelings. Brother, if she good enough to sleep with, she good enough to marry. Because these moments will keep you outside of the will of God. And you'll be thanking God for blessings he never gave you. The question is, is which God did. That was tough, wasn't it? Yeah, I know it was, it was tough. I got Band-Aids. The aren't it? Okay. That's what she said. Uh-huh. I'm going to let that rest on you for a minute. You got to stop and think. Forget about where you're talented at because a lot of us have missed our calling chasing our talent. Everybody's gift don't put them in front of people. Because the second you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to do because you ain't standing in front of people, then you're not, you, you, you doing things for applause mm-hmm. Come on, sir. and not the call. Because being in front of people, shots fired all day, every day. But when you have been called and positioned by God to take a certain level of authority, you got to first and foremost take authority in your own home. Don't come up here trying to get the church attitude right and your daughter walking around rolling her eyes at folk. Or your son don't even speak. Your son got more more, uh, uh, respect for his coach than he do his pastor. And you good with that. But I want to see you call coach when he step out of line and he, he manifests the demon in your house. No, call coach. Let him call a play for you. <laughs> Let, no, no. Call coach. Let him call a play. Let him call a play for you. But it'll never work because coach has no authority in that area. Just like I couldn't call a play. I can call it, but it probably wouldn't make sense. It'd be a tech mobile play. Some of y'all that old. Ready, down, put, 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 put. Yeah. I know I'm making sense to you. But I need you to stop and think. Stop and think. You have authority. You have authority. You have authority. I dare you to look at your children and look them dead in the eye and say, you will not sneak out the house. In Jesus' name. You will not talk back. In Jesus' name. And I guarantee you, when they get ready to do it, they're going to hear, in Jesus' name. Because in Jesus' name will cause you not to do When you call something out and people see it and you get bust out on it, you will think twice before you do it because somebody didn't already called you out on it. But as long as you think it's secret and you're getting away with it, you'll sneak around and try to get it done. But no, in, in Jesus' name, this is what's not going to happen at this here house. Stop being afraid of your kids. People are afraid of their kids now. They're trying to let the media raise them. No, I ain't your friend. I ain't your cousin. You grown. You can do what you want to do at your house. I have no jurisdiction or authority at your house. But in this one here, I hope you got it today. I know some of y'all hurting because you realize you've been cooperating in ministry. You've been cooperating at One Family Fellowship. 
you haven't been submitted to one family fellowship. The proof is with the time I talked about the choir singers, how about 15, 20 people stood up. And I said, I need all y'all at choir rehearsal. They chose not to come. That's cooperating. But when you're submitted, pastor said he want us in choir rehearsal. Pastor said he want us here on time. Pastor said we need to go over here and do that. He's the watchman, so obviously he may see something that I don't. Now, don't run the choir rehearsal now because I don't need no demons in there that don't want to be there. But I just want to show you what you did. I just want to show you how, how we're asking God for submissive blessings while we voluntarily or involuntarily don't give our cooperation. Or that's all we do is cooperate. I need to be submitted to God so I can see what I heard. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Now, earlier today, in the last episode, <laughs> we had some people to raise their hand and say they was going to join church today. If you still want to be a part of One Family Fellowship, come on down. Come on here, somebody. Come on here, somebody. Thank you for joining our services on today. We pray that something was said or done uh, to help you navigate throughout this life. In today's times, we know that a fresh word from God is so relevant for us. You could have gone anywhere else to pay attention. You could have gone anywhere else to receive the word, but God sent you here, and we pray that you're leaving full. Uh, until next time, we pray that everything happens for you the way you pray for it and the way God ordains it for your life. God bless you, and God keep you. Until next time.